In this video, we'll take a look at the hiking profile activity on your Garmin Phoenix 3, 3HR, and probably applies to the 5. So when you start your hiking activity, or any type of GPS related activity on your Phoenix, hit the start button, you get a list of profiles, hiking, running, biking, you choose the right one, hit start, wait for the GPS, and then you're ready to go. Now here we're already into a hiking activity, and I just want to show you the default screens that we have here. So by hitting the down button, you can see here we have one screen, we have another data screen, we have our map page, and then we have our heart rate gauge. Now we can customize this to our liking here. So let's go back to the, the map page, and you can do this from any of the screens, but press and hold the up button. And when you're on the map page, you get access to the pan and zoom. And if you want to make a selection, just hit the start. And from here now you can zoom in and zoom out. You can see our track file and our waypoints. So here we just hit back. So let's get back to the settings. What else can we do? We can actually get to the settings and we can customize the hiking app. So we can customize the data screens. So we have our screen one. Screen two is on, for example. We have two fields. We have the ascent and the speed. Actually, let's say you don't want the screen, you can simply turn it off. You can scroll down. You can see we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got lots of data screens to choose from here. We also have our heart rate gauge. You can turn that off also. And then we have our map. We'll leave that on. Virtual partner, we don't need that. So let's go back. And now you can see when we scroll through, we got our distance, timer, and our map. Let's say you want to adjust some more settings. We have some alerts. We have the metronome. This is, let's say, your hiking. You want to keep a certain beat per minute. You can set up the beats this way. And you can set things up that way to turn it off. You can simply turn it off that way. What else we got? Auto lap. It's set to this setting here. Let's say I don't want that. You can turn it off. Manual only, so meaning every time you hit the back button, that will count a lap. Got your auto pause. If you're doing hiking, you definitely probably don't want to use that. Auto climb, 3D speed, 3D distance. Turn on your lap key. Auto scroll, that may be useful your GPS, your timeout. You can set your background color and the accent color. So let's say instead of green, we're gonna set this to red, like that. And you can actually rename, change it from hike to something else. What else can we do? Well, once you're in here to your menu, you can also save a location, save a waypoint. We've done this in previous video. Or you can do some navigation. So if you want to do a track back, in this case, we have our track, and we want to navigate following the same path. We can do that. There you go. If you want to stop that, simply get back to our menu, hit stop navigation. And finally, let's say we're done our hike. We want to get back, and we're doing a different trail system, but we want to go back to start. Let's get back to navigation and back to start, and that will give us line of sight, straight line. You can see with the purple line to our starting point. And you notice when we're on our different screens, you can see the little glyph here gives our direction right there. And we have some other screens here. And if you want to stop that, stop navigation. And there you go. That's a quick look at the hiking app on your Garmin Phoenix 3 or 5.